Hi, I'm David Mullins, a process engineer with Enviromix, and in this video, we'll talk about the results of Biomix DC, an innovative process solution for wastewater treatment. This is the final video in a four-part series discussing how wastewater recovery facilities can optimize biological phosphorus removal. In the previous videos, we discussed how to achieve successful enhanced biological phosphorus removal. In this video, we'll provide quantifiable performance data from facilities that have been operating Biomix DC, winner of the 2022 WEF Innovative Technology Award. Each data set will correspond with the boxes below and illustrate how Biomix DC delivers results. True anaerobic conditions are critical to promote the growth of phosphorus accumulating organisms, or PAOs. To demonstrate this, we measured ORP in anaerobic selectors mixed with compressed gas mixing at two plants for 30 days. Both maintained low ORP levels below negative 300. Biomix DC delivers true anaerobic conditions. When VFA in the influent is insufficient, fermentation can be employed to produce more VFA. The first step is to establish a fermentation blanket in the reactor. Total suspended solids data from three different plants show distinct stratified layers. From looking at the data on this slide, you can see that a well-defined blanket is formed, exceeding the upper range of the instrument used. That gives us another checkmark. Biomix DC delivers a reliable fermentation blanket. Once a fermentation blanket is formed, we can compare concentrations of VFA in the bulk liquid with the fermentation layer. The surplus VFA in the fermentation layer indicates that VFA is being generated beyond what the PAOs can consume. VFA generation, check. In the previous video, we discussed the importance of transporting the surplus VFA out of the fermentation blanket with gentle pulses. This chart shows VFA concentrations measured before and after several pulses. The data demonstrate that the transport of VFA to the upper layer showing a rapid decline indicated by the downward arrows of VFA in the blanket after each pulse. Confirming Biomix DC delivers gentle VFA transport. When PAOs consume VFA, they release phosphorus. How can we prove this? Concentrations of orthophosphate in the fermentation blanket have been found to be 10 to 100 times higher than concentrations found in the influent. Subsequent phosphorus uptake in the aerobic zones in excess of what was previously released completes the BioP process. The data show that Biomix DC delivers reliable phosphorus release. So what about measuring the population of PAOs directly? With DNA sequencing, we can do just that. This chart shows PAO relative abundance from two biomass samples. The sample on the left was taken from an anaerobic zone with Biomix DC, while the sample on the right was taken from a traditional, continuously mixed anaerobic zone in a separate train at the same facility. The comparison shows a dramatic difference between the PAO communities, with the higher relative abundance on the left attributed to the conditions created by Biomix DC to deliver proliferation of PAOs. After checking off all the steps for achieving EBPR, we're left with the only result that matters, effluent total phosphorus. Prior to the implementation of Biomix DC, this plant in Michigan was achieving a P removal efficiency of approximately 85%, and since their upgrade, they're now realizing a removal efficiency of 95%. Similar effluent data was collected from a second plant. Prior to implementation of Biomix DC, the effluent phosphorus bounced around week to week or day to day. And after implementation, the performance stabilized, resulting in consistent effluent quality. So with that, we check off the final box. Biomix DC delivers effective and efficient phosphorus removal. The award-winning Biomix DC Enhanced Anaerobic Mixing System delivers next-level results for EBPR and minimizes energy and chemical consumption along the way. To learn more about this process, be sure to check out our other videos or visit our website where you'll find case studies, testimonials, brochures, and more about our latest products and developments. If you enjoyed these videos, please let us know by clicking that like button or sharing with a friend. 
Thanks again for watching.